Hi guys, so as I've promised, I'm here with the vitamin C forms and uh, we'll see, I've written them like in random order only usually but uh, uh, I've kept the best ones to the last. I've written now 5 and the remaining one I'll cover uh, after this 5, okay? So the first one as we all know is the ascorbic acid. The problem with ascorbic acid is penetration as well as stability, okay? Stability is very 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 important. When buying a vitamin C cream or vitamin C serum, you only take into consideration two things. Don't think the power of it or the percentage of it and all. First thing is, does it live stably for at least six months? Does it stay like that for six months? And the second thing is, does it penetrate? These are the two questions you have to consider, which I've already told uh, about all this in my previous video. So coming to ascorbic acid, the problem is, is it unstable exfoliates it exfoliates it does not brighten it doesn't give something to the dermis to build and send the building factors to the epidermis it only exfoliates okay of course because stability is a problem it oxidizes very 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 easily the moment it's oxidized that's when you apply oxidized stuff on the skin that is when you get dark skin that is when when you though you apply vitamin c serum for brightening that's when you still get darker and of course it does not penetrate it's water soluble that's why it, it just sits on the um, upper layers of the skin only so it does not penetrate the next better thing that we can look for is ascorbic acid powder you can make it very fresh and you have to apply it you have to completely dissolve it if, you do, if it does not dissolve when you still apply it on the face it does not absorb into the skin it just sits on the skin again like an uh, exfoliating stuff okay it's irritating to the skin um, it causes a little pH imbalance on the skin also sometimes and it's very very reactive. Um, it has to be made fresh as I have written it. The next form that we have is sodium ascorbyl phosphate. Now sodium, the, the salt molecule is attached to it. Comparatively, I have seen more products with uh, the main ingredient as sodium ascorbyl phosphate. Because of uh, the cheap thing that we get it, it gives more number of uh, results. That's what I have heard or learned or at least at least. Okay, it definitely works as an antioxidant. It again is a water soluble one. When when the vitamin C is water soluble, it does not go into this dermis of the skin. I've told you in the previous video, once it goes to dermis only, it builds up the collagen, the glue and all. Okay, that is when you see the remaining things. So one another one thing I would want to mention here is, what do you want from vitamin C? Uh, according to your requirement you have to choose the form of vitamin C suppose if here I am showing you like the ascorbic uh, magnesium ascorbyl phosphate as well as sodium ascorbyl phosphate both of them are like they um, they are anti acne they brighten your skin like nothing they lighten your scars sodium ascorbyl phosphate also helps in acne that which is because it's um, anti uh, microbial it's both of them are very stable uh, compared to sodium ascorbyl phosphate, magnesium ascorbyl phosphate is definitely more stable. And uh, the one of the advantages of magnesium ascorbyl phosphate is, I have written here, constant delivery. You know, constant delivery, I, by that I mean it keeps delivering the vitamin C until we remove it off from our face or we wash it off from our face. So that constant delivery is there. So both of them again work as an antioxidant. Magnesium ascorbyl phosphate also enhances the performance of sunscreen as well as sodium ascorbyl phosphate of course. And magnesium ascorbyl phosphate is anti-inflammatory also. In India we get very very less formulations of magnesium ascorbyl phosphate. Most of them that I have seen is sodium ascorbyl phosphate like Rayal, Mountaina etc. etc. The other thing that you can look for is uh, ascorbyl glucoside. It, it doesn't, uh, it, it is for like somebody who, I am using it currently actually. It is something for very beginner people. It just gives you a little bright skin and smooth skin. Anybody who has textured skin and just looking for smoothening of skin and very, very non-irritant form of vitamin C, yeah, this helps. But when you combine it with vitamin B3 as I've written it here, that gives you more like beautiful effects, okay? Um, and now I'm going to talk about the best and few of the stable forms of vitamin C. Just a moment. Um, so the other one is... Uh, ethylated ascorbic acid now this is i think by far one of the more or more stable forms of vitamin c now why i suggest this to everybody i mean i suggest recast vitamin c because uh, those who have bought it and those who have the bottle please say it it has ethyl ascorbic acid as i told you in india it is very important that you get something which is stable and that's something that works also another good thing about vitamin c in this ethylated ascorbic form is it is water as well as oil soluble or say fat soluble 
so this form of vitamin C is something that penetrates into the dermis. For vitamin C to penetrate into the dermis, it has to be in the fat soluble form. Okay, so that is where ethyl ascorbic acid gives you like beautiful results in terms of anti-aging and forming of the collagen and all. So also it just works on other things also like brightening and all the little. Um, so that's why I suggest recast vitamin C serum. Now you might ask me that why is it that people ask me like tell me something other than recast. I don't see any stable forms of vitamin C in Indian market to tell you. Okay, so that's the problem. Another recent one you're getting is uh, aminopropyl ascorbic acid. Um, advanced clinicals and few of other things like uh, bonds and all also have it in, in little amounts. Now this particular one helps in uh, brightening the age spots, the dark spots, the liver spots on the skin. Uh, sometimes also it just works with the brown spots and freckles also. Uh, and uh, this, is what, this is also one of the very uh, stable forms. Uh, but not as much as ethyl ascorbic acid but definitely it is. Now we are going to see the best forms of vitamin C for fat, I mean uh, for anti-aging which are fat soluble, okay. So the fat soluble ones are, the cheaper one is ascorbyl palmitate. Ascorbyl palmitate, palmitate is an ester molecule that's a fat molecule and that palmitate is what helps the vitamin C to be pulled into the dermis. And as I told you when it goes to the dermis only, it just forms the glue, it just forms the elasticity the collagen threads and all okay it's fat soluble it has good penetration but one downside is it's less bioavailable so what can be done is ascorbyl palmitate can be mixed with something like ascorbic acid i think rococo one australian brand has uh, such formulation we also get it in india also from amazon from i think you get 60 ml for some 1500 or something you can just check it out and we are coming to the best form of vitamin c that is called the thd or tetrahexyl dicyl ascorbate or tetra isopalmitate um, in ordinary we have it by that name this is the most effective one as far as anti-aging is concerned this is the one that penetrates the most into the skin into the dermis this is the one that helps in forming the dermis this is the one that helps in building the beef of the dermis which helps in collagen production the elastin which keeps your skin plump it is very 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 stable it is fat soluble one that means it's usually available with some oil uh, so that it just penetrates very deep into the skin it helps in some brightening effects overall it so uh, as i said overall it is a very very effective form of vitamin c but i think i have to tell you this it is the most expensive form of vitamin c 1 kg of tetrahexyl dicyl ascorbate will cost like 50,000 to 1 lakh. Whereas the normal ascorbic acid powder, you know how it is available in the market. Like like for 1,000 and 2,000 you get it. That That's how like twisted and more chemically treated and more stable form of vitamin C this is. That's why it's charged so much. And the highest form that is available in the THT form is something from Truth Treatments. And that 30 ml of uh, the serum itself costs you 15,000. So, of course, we cannot definitely buy vitamin C of, you know, so, so much of this. So, if you want to buy the THT form, you can buy from Ordinary. That's 20%. See, another thing I would want to tell you is, if you buy unstable forms of vitamin C, just because it says um, vitamin C and all from our Amazon and Indian markets, what happens is, most of you have told me that um, uh, I'm using a vitamin C serum, it's not brightening me, instead it's darkening me. When vitamin C breaks down, it just breaks down to erythrolose, which is actually a component in self-tanning uh, beds and self-tanning creams and all, okay? So if you want to tan yourself and make yourself darker, you use unstable forms. That is the problem. So if you're using some other forms other than THT and uh, magnesium ascorbyl phosphate or these sort of ethyl ascorbic acid and all, I suggest you use vitamin C in the night, okay? As far as the forms of vitamin C, this is what I have learned. The best form is tetrahexyl dicyl ascorbate. That's the best, 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 best form of vitamin C. Because uh, the palmitate, ascorbyl palmitate doesn't penetrate much. That's why I'm telling you this is the best form for anti-aging. If you're looking for brightening and all, maybe you can do the magnesium ascorbyl phosphate or something like that. I mean, propyl ascorbic phosphate and all. Um, so yeah, that's how I have learned. Thank you so much. Uh, any questions you have regarding this, you can let me know in the comment box. Uh, product suggestion and all, maybe we'll do another video. Okay, thank you.